Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O Football System. I want to talk about our quarterback stretch zone series, what we call a run option system. Let's take a look. So why are we doing this? This gives you the ability to make your quarterback the primary runner, and we're just multiplying our stretch system. It also allows you to attack eight-man defensive run boxes because we'll have the six blockers, but now we're going to read two versus one in a run-run option concept versus the eight defenders. What we're doing is we're going to read first-level defensive ends as our read keys and outside linebackers, both to the front side and the back side. The receivers then in this option concept running bubble routes or smoke routes become basically the pitch back in our triple option concept. How we'll do this is we're just going to go ahead and add tags to our core RPO system so we can just scaffold off of what we do naturally using the same techniques with simple signals and verbal cues either with the suffix or the prefix to designate front side or back side read keys. So this is the communication how it works. The first one we like to start out with is our simple super series. There's just a signal, no verbal here, but the back simply is going to lead block on these core concepts. We'll use stretch to start with here, and the quarterback becomes the ball carrier. The next one we like to use, which is simple and sound and a proven concept, is a bash call or cue. This is a verbal, tells the back to go away, and then the running back will become the uh, runner, but reading the backside automatically with all receivers blocking. Real simple then, if we want to read the backside defensive end, we'll use a suffix to the play call using B cities, starting with the letter B. We want to do backside linebackers, we, that's a lock system. We'll use now L cities as a suffix. And if we want to read the backside defensive tackle in the, a midline concept, we'll use a suffix again with M cities. Key note here, receivers are automatically doing bubbles as their tag, but then we can go ahead and communicate smoke routes with a signal of only the pointer fingers. And last, we can go ahead and do front side defensive end reads, and that's classic speed option or what we call speedo, because now we'll just use a prefix to the play call of a letter O. Let's take a look. All right, first one is super stretch. And again, as I said, the back is going to line towards the play call and simply become a lead blocker for stretch. He's going to go inside out looking for first force defender. The key point here is this is still an RPO and the quarterback needs to catch the ball, put the ball in front of his chest with two hands and then take two lateral shuffle steps with his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage reading his best access defender. In this case, with one high, same rules, it's the ox. He'll take those two shuffle steps, the ox fills, then he'll set up and throw to the Z on the pray for post. If the ox sits, then he's the back who gets, and he'll plant on that second shuffle step, tuck the ball, and read the H inside out, just like any ball carrier. Our next foundation concept that you should use at all levels is a bash stretch or bash concept. Bash means back away. So if we're running stretch zone to the left, the back will go to the right, and we're going to go ahead and read that backside defensive end. If he sits, then the quarterback gets. If he comes down the line chasing the tackle, then the back will get the ball running it out the back door. Quarterback will take his same slide step and read, the defensive end. If he sits, then he's going to plant and he becomes a ball carrier to the left. Real simple, sound way to make your quarterback the primary ball carrier. Next off of the bash concept is do what we call a backdoor bash. Real simple, that means we're going to run away from the H back. So we just add a bill call to it. It's bash bill. Again, running back's going to go away because we're running this to the calls to the left, Lobos. Quarterback makes the same read on the defensive end. One key point here when we run bash bill, that X receiver is going to go ahead and crack on the Mr. Zero. We're going to go ahead and pull the H now and do our same original uh, stretch zone, 
but the quarterback's going to add this into a triple option where the A will run a bubble now. So he's going to go ahead and, and read the defensive end first with his normal bash read, and then go attack the reading the SAM. If the SAM sits, then we'll go ahead and throw the bubble to the A. If the SAM chases and fills with the A bubble, then he'll keep as a triple option. Last, you can take this backdoor bash concept and go ahead and do a double move with your Z receiver. Everything's the same as our bash bill, but now we're gonna go ahead and pick on the uh, corner with a stutter go. Next, we're gonna get into our triple option stretch, which is what we call our B cities, where we read the backside defensive end. We're running stretch zone to the left with the back as the ball carrier. The quarterback though, when we add Boston, the B city as a suffix, he'll read that defensive end. If he sits, the back will just get it. If he chases down the line, then the quarterback's gonna take it out the back door, turn this into triple option, reading then Mr. Zero for a keep or a bubble. We can do midline stretch. Um, now we're gonna read the backside defensive tackle. Again, we call these M cities, again, as a suffix. Still running stretch zone to the left with the back as normal. Quarterback is gonna take his slide step to the left. We're gonna read now the defensive tackle. If the defensive tackle sits, the back hits. If the defensive tackle chases down the line, then the quarterback's gonna keep going right up inside. As always, he has the opportunity with pre-snap if he has free access to throw the bubble. Next, we can do our L city or what we call a lock stretch. Now we're gonna read the backside will backer. Again, stretch zone to the left, will sits, back gets. Will chases, the quarterback's gonna take it out the back door and has a two way out reading the defensive end. He's gonna look inside first. If it's there, he just replaces the will. If the end collapses down, then he'll go ahead and bounce outside and turn this into triple option with the A receiver on the bubble. Last is one of my favorite blitz beaters, speed option, or what we call speedo, which I've used at all levels, all the way down to ninth grade. You can see here we're running stretch zone blocking to the right, and we're gonna read the front side defensive end. Key point here, the play side tackle or the right tackle, we're just gonna leave that DN, what we call leave three, number three, and take a veer step with his inside foot going straight up field, blocking the first to second level linebacker, head up to backside. X, A, and Z are all gonna bongo block, meaning they're gonna block the man over or run him off on a go in man schemes. The H will arc release to the Sam backer. Key point here is the quarterback wants to take two shuffle steps attacking the defensive end's outside leg. We wanna be able to get the ball to the B if all possible. The back will simply take a bucket step and sprint straight down the sideline. We wants to keep a uh, pitch relationship of five to seven yards. Uh, doesn't matter if he's even in front or behind because we're behind the line of scrimmage. That defensive end sits at all. We're just gonna go ahead on those two shuffle steps and pitch to the back. If he attacks right away, we can pitch right away on the first shuffle step. If he sits and then takes off attack turns and runs to the back, turning his back to the line of scrimmage, that's the only time the quarterback will keep that. But again, he wants to be patient, taking two shuffle steps to make sure we solidify that read. What's great about this is you can run it out of all the sets towards the H back or away. All the rules still apply here. Nothing changes. Last, probably my favorite, is when we run three by one and the defense over kicks the linebackers. We have great numbers weak and we can isolate speed and space, beating the blitz easily. You can see now we got a real simple way to make the quarterback a primary ball carrier, but be able to read multiple people front side and back side to make this a whole offensive series and attack. Still using stretch zone as our base blocking concept. Thanks.